guys, welcome back. Casey here with Max Aroma, your number one destination for fragrances on the low. Now today we are back with Salvatore Ferragamo Atimo Black Musk. We have this wonderful fragrance to review after a 48 hour trial of this fragrance. Now, a, a background of this fragrance, it was released in 2014 and uh, it is a, a variant of the original Atimo fragrance that uh, Ferragamo released previously. Now, the fragrance itself has a decently pleasant notes and scent overall. The, um, the only thing I would say of this fragrance that I did not like and was not expecting at least was the fact that it was a linear scent. Now what do I mean by that is that this had basically only five or six main notes that I could smell from this fragrance. And also another thing, it didn't leave, um, it left a scent but not a smell. Now what do I mean by that? Scent wise, it was, you could, you could, get whiffs of the fragrance here and there either uh, if it's rubbed off your clothes or it was still in its uh, peak performing time however it didn't leave a smell in regards to it wasn't present it wasn't it was didn't have that kind of presence that maybe you could you would expect from like a Dior Sauvage or um, uh, like a Dior Fahrenheit um, aqua or uh, these are just fragrances that are in my head but just or like the um, Chanel blue the Cree green Irish tweed the aqua di Gio any of these fragrances that are main popular and very strong and have a strong presence this is unlike those it does not have that kind of strong presence that I expected mostly because of the black musk um, or musk notes that is present in this now the main scent breakdown would be basically, I would say, uh, patchouli, vetiver, black musk or musk. Um, what else could I say that, that I could smell in the main notes? <sighs> hmm. The m mandarin orange is very noticeable, maybe in the first hour or so, 30 minutes or first hour, but th that's probably the next in... Um, main notes that you're you'll be smelling saffron and pimento mm, in some occasions i smelled it and in some occasions i did not now it, i guess it depends on which part of the fragrance was developing at that time but um those f notes are a little less strong than the ones i mentioned um in the beginning where patchouli vetiver and musk are the main notes you're going to be smelling with that hint of or mandarin orange as well now in terms of longevity, here is another pitfall of this fragrance. Longevity, I expected somewhere around six to eight hours for this fragrance, but I actually got something around four to six hours. So on average, I got five or six hours of the um, for longevity for this fragrance. Now, mainly I got four to five hours, but in some occasions I can like, just right now I can still smell it. So just, it depends on if this is applied mainly only to your um, neckline or if you just walk through the fragrance because the spray on this is pretty gen generous. So it depends on how you usually apply your fragrance. Now, usually I apply two sprays and then I pushed it up to three sprays on the second day of me trying it. So I tried it for two and a half days, right? So the day of um, the first impressions I wore it and then two days afterwards. So I would say something around three spray, three to four sprays is where you should expect to be wearing this uh, fragrance in terms of pushing the longevity. Now we come to the worst of the worst, projection. This fragrance does not project. Now, in my first impressions, I did smell it a little long, um, a little more extended from my um, body, but after trying it out, man, this fragrance just sits close to your body, very, very close. Expect something around half a feet of projection, max, max, max of feet if you're just walking around nonstop and you know it has a trailing effect. But in terms of overall, don't expect projection from this one. Now, in terms of the seasonal use, another area where I was a little wrong on um, 
what I expected from this fragrance. Now, I did say fall winter is where this fragrance is classified for. However, I would even stay away from the winter time and keep it for fall and spring actually. Now, why do I say spring? Because of the mandarin orange and the overall um, appeal of these the warm spices and musk. Um, this fragrance does not seem to be overly dense. So if if it doesn't have that um, overly dense feel and you live in a say mild climate so your spring times aren't that hot then this is definitely one wonderful fragrance for that time of the year as well spring and fall time highly recommended winter there's so many better fragrances you can be wearing rather than this one now in terms of the recommended use for this fragrance I would say um, date night is fine, work is fine, nightlife, no, because it's too weak for the nightlife. You, your, your, your scent would be drown, drowning through all the other scents of other people. And in terms of, yeah, I, I'd say I'd love this for a work fragrance or maybe like a casual dinner or if you're going out with some friends getting some, like a grabbing a bite to eat, sorry, or um, anything like that, that would be definitely the best fragrance for that in the fall or springtime. Now that's all that we have for Atimo for Man Black Musk by Ferragamo. Now as I said I expected a little more from this fragrance than what I um, had in mind, however for the price point that this is going on currently and the overall appeal that it has, it's not a overwhelming fragrance. I definitely say it's worth it to have in your arsenal of fragrances. That's all that we have. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget, let me check, we are the 28th. Yes, so we are the 28th. Today is the final day. We, are, we, we will be closing today the giveaway, the December giveaway. So make sure to check out the video. If you have not, I'll be putting that in the description below. And good luck to y'all. Thanks for watching. And don't forget, next week we'll be announcing our December winners and announcing our January giveaway list and lineup of fragrances. And we'll be giving our first impressions on another fragrance and reviewing it on Thursday. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on next week.